Hey guys, today's story is sleep is for everyone. When you feel tired, your body is telling you that it needs to rest. Everyone needs sleep. Babies need lots of sleep. Grown-ups need a little less sleep, but no one can go without sleep for very long. A team of scientists stayed awake for as long as they could to see what would happen. We're gonna read some more to find out some wide-eyed facts about science and sleep. Sleep is for everyone. When a horse goes to sleep, its eyelids go down. When a chicken goes to sleep, its eyelids go up. When a snake sleeps, it stays, its eyes stay open. Snakes, they don't have any eyelids. When you go to sleep, which way do your eyelids go? An elephant can sleep standing up. A pigeon sits down when it sleeps. Pigs like lie down to sleep. So do dogs. So do we. Sometimes dogs curl up. So do cats. Cows don't. Do you curl up when you sleep? Like birds and animals, people have to sleep. Some people sleep more than others. Jonathan is six weeks old. He sleeps most of the time. He only wakes up when he wants to eat or to have his diaper changed. Connie is two years old. She goes to bed right after dinner and she sleeps all night, 12 hours or more. She takes a nap in the afternoon too. When Caroline doesn't get her nap, she's cranky. She cries and throws things, and the next morning she feels fine after she's had another good night's sleep. When people are little, they are growing, and they need a lot of sleep. As they grow bigger and older, they need a little less. School children, like you, need to sleep about 10 to 12 hours every night. Most grown-ups need seven to eight, but babies, children, and grown-ups, all of them need to have their sleep. Every part of the body has to rest after it does its work. Your arms need to rest after they carry heavy bundles. When you run fast, your legs work hard, they get tired, and then you have to rest them too. Your brain works hard too. It never stops working. When you are awake, it helps you pay attention to the world around you, to see the things and the sound, see the things you see and the sounds you hear and the things you taste and smell and feel. You can sit perfectly still and rest your arms and legs, but your brain, it never rests. It goes right on thinking as long as you are awake. At night, your brain needs a rest from thinking. It needs to turn off the world. The way you turn off the light when you go to bed. Sleep is a time when part of your brain takes a rest. Some parts of your brain keep working, even when you are asleep. Your brain keeps your heart beating and your lungs breathing, but your eyes are shut and they don't see. Your ears are open, but you don't hear many sounds. Your brain doesn't think wide awake thoughts until you sleep, but it dreams. Scientists have tried to find out what would happen if people didn't get enough sleep. The scientists didn't go to bed. They stayed up all night and all the next day and all that night and all the day after that. They grew very sleepy and it was harder and harder to stay awake. They tried to read, but they couldn't follow the words. They tried to look at the TV, but their eyes, they kept closing. They played games, but they made mistakes. It was harder and harder for their brains to think. The scientists grew mean and angry. They got mad at their friends. They kept walking around the room so they wouldn't fall asleep. They drank coffee, but they just kept yawning. Finally, the scientists were too tired to stand up any longer. When they sat down, they fell asleep in their chairs. 
They shouldn't. They simply could not stay awake any longer. If people stay awake too long, they don't feel very well. Scientists do not know exactly why sleep is good for us, but they know that all people need to sleep to be healthy and to feel good. Sometimes it's hard to go to bed. Perhaps I want to watch something on the TV, play a video game. My mom, she makes me go to bed. Sometimes she's angry with me. That's because she's tired. Sometimes when I'm angry, it's because I'm tired. Most of the time I go to bed when my parents tell me it's warm under the covers. Sometimes I like to curl up or I stretch out and I twist around and I yawn, I shut my eyes. I begin to feel as if I am floating. My thought begins to wander, floating on a rubber mattress in a pool or in a balloon high up in the clouds. I think of different things, riding my bicycle, roller skating, an airplane high in the sky, a basket of apples, waves on the ocean shore, racing cars, my goldfish. Soon, I stop sleeping. Then, I am asleep. Sleep is for everyone. Bye, guys.